So you're an engineer, just got out of college, and uh, you want to be uh, the best engineer you can be. And you would like to someday be able to manage other engineers and possibly be a department manager or department head and maybe even someday be uh, a business owner that you own your own business, uh, your own engineering company. So what are the steps? How do you get there? What's the you need it in your uh, in your toolbox in order to become a manager and especially a project manager? What are the steps? Let's find out right now. Yeah. Okay, you've gotten out of college now, and uh, you've done your job interviews, went to several companies being interviewed, and finally, uh, one or two companies selected you to come and work with them, and then you had to choose which one, and you've made that decision. Now you're working as an engineer, and you're getting that little bit of experience. You're not quite a real engineer yet, but at least you're working in the engineering profession. You're doing some of the, uh, the calculations, some of the designs that are required, and it's fun. And but you don't that you don't really want to do this your entire career, so you're going to want to move up and get advanced. What are the steps? How do you get to the next level as an engineer? Well, there's a couple of ways that that begins. Well, let's describe some of those steps. The first step as an engineer, of course, is just an entry level engineer. Uh, you're usually working in one specific area uh, of the discipline, uh, no matter what it is, if it's civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, even if you're doing coding work, you're only specifically doing uh, a small portion of a project. As you gain experience working in that area, then they then will move you into other areas of engineering. And if slowly over time, uh, your experience and your technical abilities expand further and further within the company. After a while, you'll pretty much know how to do anything that that design team's called to do uh, for any type of project. So, eventually, they'll ask you to become a project engineer. A project engineer usually leads the team. They are the most technically experienced individual on the team. The project engineer is the one who reviews the work that others have done on the team, making sure they're technically correct, they meet the specifications of the client's needs, and they meet all the other criteria that the government entities may also have on those designs. So now you worked a couple of years as a project engineer, and you're still thinking about moving up. You don't want to be a project engineer forever, perhaps, and so maybe you like to be a manager. But what is the steps you have to take in order to get that level? Well, it, it, it isn't that easy, actually. <laughs> being a manager is quite a bit different than from being an engineer or a project engineer. And yes, it may require going to get some uh, technical training uh, on just specifically on management. Managers are looking at something totally different from what an engineer looks at. The engineer is looking at the technical aspects of a, a design or a project, whereas the manager is more involved with managing his resources in order to complete the project. In other words, the people and the material that's necessary to complete a project. Every manager is responsible to how long it takes to do something and the budget that's required to do it. So when a project is contracted with your company, it has a set budget that comes with it and usually a set time frame. It is the company's responsibility to meet those timelines and to become and to come under budget. So as you can see, you can't just jump from project engineer to project manager. There's a few things you gotta do in between. What usually happens in larger companies, the project engineers are given smaller projects overseen by a project manager, and then they're given the responsibility to, to manage those small projects. This gives them a little bit of experience as a manager of a project. When you have a small project that you're working on, what they're looking for is that you're capable of doing the five steps of a project. What are those five steps? Well, the first step when you're given a new project is to plan out how you're going to finish the project. What are the steps necessary in order to complete the task, the project itself? 
the next thing they will be looking at is that your ability to schedule the people and the material necessary to finish the job. In other words, you're going to be able to manage the resources necessary to complete the project. The third step, you need to be crystal clear on the assignment of the various tasks that's needed to complete the project. Fourth, you need to be able to track the progress of your project, making sure that it's staying on time and under budget. Even though it's a small project, you still have to be aware of how long everything's taking, making sure that the tasks are completed on time and on budget. If you do that, then the final uh, project, when it's finally done, will also be on time and under budget. And the last and fifth uh, step that they want to make sure that you understand how to do is how to report uh, the progress of the project to your managers. In other words, your project manager in this case, reporting to him exactly where the project's at, what tasks have been completed, where you're at on the timeline, and where you're at on your budget. It's not necessary, but it's highly recommended that all project engineers go and take a certification test. The best uh, certification that you can get initially is a certified associate project manager. You can get this certification through PMI, Project Manager Institute. What it requires is no real experience, but it does require that you take 23 hours of credited hours towards uh, project management. You can do that either in a college course or you can do it through a certified program. Once you have the 23 hours, you can then take the test and then you're a certified associate project manager. You know the kind of the basics, the five steps in every project. This kind of gears you towards that project management goal that you have in the future. Now that you've taken that certified associate project manager degree, plus you have a couple of years as a project engineer, the next step is that probably the company will promote you to a project manager position. At this level, it's not necessarily the senior project manager, but it is a entry level to the project management position, especially in larger companies. At this point, you want to continue your training in project management. Again, going probably back to the PMI, Project Management Institute, and getting the next level of certification. This will require some years of experience working uh, as a project manager under a project manager doing project management. You're going to gain more and more knowledge on how to manage a project. Again, uh, certification project management is probably not necessary in all engineering professions, but it is highly recommended. The more you understand how to do project management, the better you will be as a project manager. After you've done project management for several years, well, of course, the next step is managing uh, engineers, which probably be like a department head. And even you might even think about going off and forming your own company and hiring engineers and project managers eventually yourself. This is the career path for any engineer that wants to be a manager. You first start off as an engineer from a graduate school. Spend a couple years doing that. Then you eventually become a project engineer. Get yourself starting to learn about project management. Become a certified associate project manager. Then the next step is actually getting promoted to project management. But even then, you want to continue your education as a project manager uh, and getting better and better at your skills, managing projects, and eventually managing a department or even running your own engineering company. So I know you've gotten value out of this video, so please go ahead down below and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you hit that like button so we know that we're doing a good job. So until the next video, keep on growing your, your knowledge as an engineer, but also keep growing your skills as a manager, as a project manager. See you on the next video.